what do we all think about when we hear the term art? To me, um, when I hear something like art, it is something pretty, uh, something deep, or uh, maybe a beautiful painting hanging on the walls of your room. That can be art. But if I have to define art in three words, that will be representation, expression, <coughs> and form. To me, art is uh, something uh, that, uh, that expresses your uh, feelings, your emotions that you cannot uh, maybe describe in words. It is a way of communication. While when we talk about living, uh, living is an art in itself. Living, everyone has their own definitions of living because uh, I might like something else, ma'am might not like that. We all have different desires, different interests. To fulfill those desires and interests, whatever step we are taking, that is living and that is an art. To me, living is enjoying every little thing that I do in my daily life. Like, uh, it can be maybe waking up early in the morning or finishing a series that I've been trying to finish from past uh, many weeks. It can be that. In fact, standing here today and sharing my opinion to this beautiful audience, this is life to me and this is my art. So, art of life is that life is art. I repeat, art of life is that life is an art. So, uh, the idea here is that we create life and in this process, we create ourselves as well. Just like a painter creates his or her painting with love, with care, with effort, in the process of us making our lives beautiful, we create ourselves as well. We define ourselves in that process. So, art of living is, uh, is about realizing your own role in your life making. It is your role when you, make your, uh, when you take the decisions of your life, the, the role you're playing, art of living is that. So if I have to go to the technical definitions of uh, art of living, then uh, it can be like uh, the, in the expression art of living, art refers to your skill, while living refers uh, to a manner of life. So uh, see, just like a painting uh, cannot, uh, cannot go according to a painter's plan always, often life is like that. It does not go according to our plans. It is, it is, not always sunshine and sunflowers. It is sometimes rain, sometimes even thunderstorms or maybe tsunamis as well. We, we never know, right? But the kind of effort we are putting to make, to save our lives from the thunderstorms and the tsunamis, that is art. So uh, one thing is certain here, that is that we cannot control our lives. Neither can we control the outcome. But we can surely control our ambitions, our interpretations, our thoughts, and uh, our inspirations, and put it into something and build our path. Build a right path where you can build your life, and that life is your art. The kind of art you have formed, and that is art of living. So um, I'd, I'd like to elaborate further by citing some of the examples, and I'll uh, be showing you some photographs here. So for example, take a person who's selling balloons. So when we look at it, what do we think of it? Okay, fine, she or he is making life out of it, earning out of it. But no, it is much more than that. If you think it in a deeper sense, do you think we, the kind of uh, living we are habituated to, do you think we'll be able to stand there despite the scorching heat or the rain or any kind of weather? We'll, do you think we'll be able to stand there, convince people to come and buy balloons from me? That is impossible for us. So. That is, that, that is the art only that person who is selling the balloon knows. Another example here is, you can see this photograph. There are two different people here. Uh, the one is um, a professional photographer and the other, uh, and the other person is uh, a boatman, uh, a person who is riding boats. So here we can see that they are from two different worlds. They have nothing in similarity. but. Again, think from the perspective of art of life. These, these professions, these, uh, whatever the jobs are, they are embracing their own form of art of living here. Because, um, say for example, we swap their positions. Okay, we swap their positions, we make the photographer, the boat person, and the, uh, the man who's riding the boat, a photographer. So if you ask the photographer to ride the boat, he will obviously drown you along with him and the boat. Uh, and if you ask the person who's riding the boat to capture the beauty of the lake or the sea, do you think he'll be able to do that? 
no right because why because the photographer it's his <laughs> art it's it's something he has been doing he has been enjoying it's a part and parcel of his life uh, similarly uh, with the person who's riding the boat it's his life his kind of art his form of art his form of art of living that is why what i mean to say here is everyone has their own individuality i i am speaking here uh, some of you might be like wanting to come and speak here someday because i am speaking here i am standing here and speaking here maybe some of you are getting that confidence okay she is speaking i can also speak that is one kind of art you can see here so uh, any any person who is living and in uh, and is in any kind of uh, working profession or field is embracing the art of living knowingly or unknowingly me as a student uh, the only job i have right now is uh, to study obviously and to score good marks and why do you think uh, scoring good marks or getting into a good university after this for a masters is important because i know somewhere deep down i know that this knowledge which i'm gaining right now and which i'm working hard for i'm going to use this to realize someday that is my art this is my form of art of living so every step every big or small or even a minor step you take in your daily life to make your life colorful or worth living is an art of living